Smallest airport in the world. And there's your check in. Smallest airport in the world, eh? So as we leave the departure lounge, stroke check in, stroke everything else, we walk straight onto the plane. It's bitterly cold and windy outside. Not quite seen anything like this. Okay, and off we go. Oh, it's so cold. Can't describe how cold it is. There's our plane. Tiny plane. Probably sits about 15 people. I know it's sold out here in Oosterlims, north of Urkux. I'll get on the back here now. I think it's one of the older planes. I've been told about this. I'm climbing into the plane. Oh, it smells like a tractor. Wow, these seats are old. So here. Here, okay. There, okay. Okay, okay. Oh. Wow, this is an old flight. I've never been on a plane like this. It feels so old, almost military. And with the wind outside, this could be one of the most dangerous flights I've ever been on. Anyway, let's try and enjoy it. So the plane's landed, we need to get some more fuel before we go on again. That was a terrifying experience and I've got to do it all again. It's now snowing to make things worse. Look at this for an old airport. Wow, really are deep in Siberia here. This is an airport, Brask I think it's called. So the plane only stopped for petrol because it, when it lands in Oosterlim it just takes off again and returns back to where it come from and given how small Oosterlim is, it's impossible to refuel. The downside about this is going up and down, having to land and take off on a plane like that in the weather that I'm going through. It's just not one of the better experiences I've had ever in my life. Feels colder than that. Small shop in the airport. Snacks and I guess souvenirs. Okay, so it's 
time to get back on the flight again. So we have to do a security check again and baggage alert and then back on the plane. So they've rechecked our bags, we're ready to get back on the flight again. Only about 15 minutes it felt like so far. Nice off my feet on the ground to be honest. Not looking forward to getting back on that plane. There is nothing in that runway or weather that makes me feel safe or reassured at all. Look at it. Ah, oh, come on. After the first leg of that flight, I really can't believe I'm voluntarily stepping foot back on this plane again. I'll tell you, this is the last time I ever use a plane like this. So we've touched down, got the flight out of the way. I've got to say, I've been on a lot of flights in my time, some smaller than that, all over the world. But our first part, when we took off, and for the first hour in atrocious weather conditions. It was the worst flight I've ever been in. It felt like there was no control in the air. I'm sure it was, but it was just terrifying. Second part, uh, back to normal. But I'm just glad my feet are on the ground. And uh, that's it for another day. I survived for another day. <laughs>